Hello everybody, it's Steven from Simply Nerdy. Obviously, you're in the right place. No, I just wanted to give a quick update about uh, Microsoft. Um, I know this doesn't have anything to do with Nintendo, but I think it does, so bear with me. Um, <clears throat> they had an interview with IGN recently talking about their Project X Cloud, and I know we kind of talked about it in a previous discussion video, but I kind of wanted to go into more depth here um, in this video just to say kind of what I think this what this means for Nintendo, right? So in the interview, they were talking about how Xbox, Microsoft, um, they wanted to bring their core Xbox experience to whatever device you wanted to play on. So that means your saves, your achievements, your friends list, everything will just be um, streamed from the cloud now. And they went on to say that um, you can play on your Xbox One at home on your console and then stop playing, pick up whatever device you want to play on and continue right where you left off on whatever device you want so long as, and this is what Anthony and I went into in that last video or a couple of videos ago, um, as long as you have a good Wi-Fi connection. So I think that's going to be the big thing for the Switch, a good a good reason why ports are still going to happen for the Switch, at least Anthony and I hope so, um, because how often are you going to have good internet to play on your Switch, assuming this service even comes to the Switch, which hopefully rumor has it, it will, um, but you would never know until it's confirmed. Um, but anyway, the Switch is you know, amazing, and being able to bring everything with you wherever you go. Um, if you don't have good Wi-Fi service or a good, I don't even know if the cellular service will be good enough to run Xbox One games uh, on the go. So ports are a great way to play Xbox One games or if they decide to do that kind of thing. But what I'm saying is you don't have to have internet to, boot to play the Switch ports. So maybe this means we'll get some ports here and there. Um, but maybe we won't. Maybe we'll have to be connected to Wi-Fi constantly if we wanted to play Xbox One games through the Project X Cloud on the Switch. So we'll have to we'll have to see how, what that looks like. I'm really excited to see the service. I'm really excited to know that uh, public trials start this year. I don't know where to sign that up or where to sign up for that. I'll be. Uh, looking into that very closely. I don't know if it's a closed public or as if it's open to everybody, but I definitely want to give this a try and see for myself how, how well it works, what kind of internet service you have to have to have it work flawlessly. I know they were saying in the interview that they want it to be exactly like the developers wanted you to experience it, so with the hardware and lag not present and have the exact same experience on whatever device you want to play on and that's pretty powerful and that's pretty tough so we'll have to see how this does but what do you think about all this stuff what do you think about the project x cloud and do you think it's a waste of time or bad idea or are you just excited as me and just wonder what does this mean for the future um, let us know in the comments down below and if you like this video give us a like and subscribe until next time keep it nerdy